oceans have always been a source of wealth. Numerous civilizations prospered thanks to them, gradually leaving their footprint in their shores. Our ability to extract resources and dump waste has reached unthinkable levels, and we have sadly discovered that the capacity of the oceans to adapt to these impacts is not boundless. With nets growing the empty, some communities found an opportunity to use the ocean resources in a different way, marine ecotourism. What started as a local economic alternative is today a global industry that generates $50 billion each year, serving more than 120 million tourists. In Mexico, marine ecotourism attracts 900,000 visitors every year in the Gulf of California alone, generating local income of over $500 million. Worried by the degradation of the reefs, the people of Cabo Pulmo in southern Baja California took the decision 20 years ago to stop fishing and create a national park. Marine life rebounded in more than 400% to become the area with the highest fish concentration of all the Gulf of California. Cabo Pulmo now receives 29,000 tourists every year who leave a direct revenue of $3 million, an alternative to fishing that has also allowed them to resist the attempts to establish mega developments around their park. More than 8,000 gray whales were hunted during the 30 years that whaling operated in Mexico at the end of the 19th century, pushing the species to the brink of extinction. In the three months of the whaling season, a single boat could capture up to 50 whales, whose blubber oil, at current prices, summed almost $3 million. Today, gray whales are protected, their population has rebounded, and they generate each year more than $6 million through ecotourism in the sanctuaries of Baja California. Each year we harvest around 100 million sharks from the oceans, more than three sharks every second. However, the income that diving with sharks generates at a global scale is already higher than the revenue of their fishery, and Mexico is not an exception. While the agonizing shark fishery generates $21 million annually at the cost of decimating our seas, diving with sharks, a rapidly growing activity, generates more than $12 million without any impact to the species or the ecosystem. Not all is success stories. Poorly planned tourism tends towards massification, impacts the environment, and disturbs wildlife populations. The benefits of a well-executed ecotourism transcend the local scale. Oceans need top predators like sharks. Healthy reefs are still major drivers of marine productivity. And whales have become a symbol of cultural connection between distant ecosystems and nations. Marine ecotourism is a key piece to ensure that the conservation of natural capital contributes as much or more to human well-being than fisheries. Could the true richness of the oceans lie beyond resource extraction? <laughs>